Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from Budapest here at the capital of Hungary. I hope everybody has had a good week, staying productive, looking forward to a good weekend, staying healthy, staying strong. Uh, students, in this class we are looking at IELTS speaking. Specifically, we're taking a look at part two, which is the cue card. It's the long answer. Um, it's uh, basically uh, where you have to um, look at a card, think about your answer, you have one minute to plan, uh, so that's what's going on. Uh, can everybody see me right now? Because YouTube seems to have a little bit of an issue. Uh, hi, Jainil. Hi, Tommy C. Hi, Leia. Jainil, can you see me? Can everybody see me? Hopefully. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right, Bobo Murad says, yeah, I can see you. All right, okay, perfect. That's good, as long as you can see me, that's all I need to know. <laughs> all right, okay, um, so uh, students, this lesson is brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Check us out there for general IELTS. Visit us at gieltshelp.com on both of our websites. We have loads and loads of materials to help you improve your English, your communication, and get those higher band scores. Our academic website looks like this with the blue background. You can click that big red button to join the premium package. And the general version looks like this with the green background. You can click that big red button to join us there. If you have questions and for our new members, uh, please send emails to adrian at aehelp.com. I'll gladly uh, get back to you. All right, let's get into this. So uh, today task uh, or speaking part two, uh, tomorrow members will have a question and answer session. So get your questions ready members for tomorrow and we'll do a speaking part three uh, tomorrow, which will be a continuation of this class, of this speaking part two class, okay? So uh, pay attention today. All right. And of course, today's uh, kind of theme is uh, choosing a good answer. So answering wisely. It is a really important part of getting a high band score in speaking to have a good choice for your part two cue card, okay? All right, um, so you're in your speaking interview. The speaking interview takes about 15 minutes and you finish the introductions with the examiner. You finished part one uh, that takes about five, six minutes. And now the examiner says, okay, that is the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two. Uh, for part two, here is a card with some questions on it. Here's some note paper, here's a pencil. You will have one minute to read the questions, think about your answers, take notes in the one minute if you wish, and then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Your one minute preparation time begins now. So you turn over the card and this is what you see, okay? Uh, step number one, numero uno, is read the card carefully, okay? So always really read the card carefully, especially this very first sentence, okay? Part two, uh, talk about an idea you had to make your life better, your life better, okay? Not somebody else's life, not life on planet Earth, but your life. So definitely catch that part. Talk about an idea you had, meaning past, to make your life better. Okay? All right. Uh, what is the idea? When and where did this idea come from? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? Uh, why will this make your life better and how long will this take? OK, 
Okay, so that's the card. Again, pay close attention. You have to answer all of these questions. Now, your goal is to answer all of these questions in 90 seconds. And if you have that 30 more seconds, sometimes examiners are in a rush and they don't give the full two minutes, but if they give you that plus 30 seconds, then in those seconds you want to give details. Okay, so that's what you want to focus on, all right? Uh, Rafa is asking, can we ask the examiner to change the topic? No, I, well, you can ask Rafa, but they'll say, nope, that's your topic. Uh, that's what you have to speak on. So they will not change it for you. Otherwise, students would just keep asking for a new topic until the examiner gives them one that the student's like, oh, that's one I know really well. I practiced a lot for it. Nope. You have to answer what they give you. Okay. All right. So uh, the very, very first step. So you have this one minute. You read the card in about 10 seconds. That's fine. And um, then you identify the card as an idea. Okay, so you realize that, okay, this is an idea that I had, right? So topic, life improvement, controlling idea. for my own life, okay, and this is an idea. When you're talking about an idea, what do you need to in include, okay? So, uh, what are some basic elements, some key points that you should think about including when you talk about an idea, okay? Every time we have these part two cue cards, I explain to students that aside from the questions on the card, there are always some key elements that need to be included, whether you're talking about a person, place, object, event, or an idea. So what should you include uh, when you talk about an idea? There's Carolina answering the question. Hi, Carolina. So Carolina says, you should talk about the origin. So yes, or another way you can say, say that Carolina is the source of the idea. So where it came from, the question here is asking uh, about that. The significance, yeah, the importance of the idea. So source of the idea, the significance of the idea. Um, the idea manifested in reality, yeah, it's manifestation in reality, sure. So how we see that idea in the real world, definitely, that's a good uh, point to think about. Carolina, absolutely. Uh, time of the idea, execution and results, yeah. So uh, time, uh, requirements and results, yeah. So what's needed for the idea? Uh, what are the results of the idea? So as long as you keep these in mind, you're going to be on the right track, okay? So that is one of the most important points uh, to uh, consider. Okay, uh, now you have this, okay? And then uh, what's your next step? So step three, what's your next step? Um, the order, Beckjun, good question, is uh, time and source would be number one, okay? Uh, significance, number two. Requirements, number three. Number four, manifestation. Number five, results. Okay, that would be the order, All right? That was a good question, okay? So Nageman says, think of two or three ideas. Yeah, so think of two to three ideas that are original and easy to talk about, okay? So, yeah, you want to think about two or three ideas. This is one of the most important steps in that one minute, OK? 
Okay, so this is a very important step. The better your uh, response, the better your speaking band score. So this is a really important step here, okay? So thinking of two or three ideas, okay? All right, so give me some ideas. So what are some ideas that you've had to make your life better? Okay, Abdul Boriti says uh, entering university, so going to university. All right. What else? Uh, Nick Heyman says going abroad to study. Sure. Uh, Murasa says joining a gym. Fitness center. Okay. Ah, Pooza, I love your answer. So Pooza says doing yoga regularly. All right. Nice. Abid says not getting married. Okay. Bekchan says studying IELTS. All right. So taking the IELTS exam. Uh, buying a car. I saw that one as well. Okay. Carolina says studying English or learning English. Good. All right. Okay. Um, so, Alea says playing the piano. So, lots of ideas for this one. That's great. So, you have a good flow of ideas. Now, uh, what you want to do is you want to focus in on a few and you want to... Uh, make sure that your idea isn't just good, but it's great. Uh, remember the topic of today's lesson. It's choose a wise answer. Okay, so choosing a wise answer. Now, um, one step in choosing a wise answer is even when you think of answers that many other candidates might choose. Think about a more unique aspect uh, that will give you an edge, allow you to give an original answer with great detail and vocabulary. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, if you're like, what is he talking about? Okay. So um, some of you said joining a gym. Okay, so let's simplify that. So for example, Uh, you might say, okay, doing regular exercise. So here's that and one step, okay? I'm going to call this the and one step. So when you're looking at this card and you think, oh, okay, doing regular exercise, that's what comes to mind, then take it one step further. And I think it was Pooja who said this, that says, instead of saying doing regular exercise, say doing um, fitness meditation, yoga, regularly, okay? All right, so yeah, I'm sure you could talk about two minutes, uh, so we'll talk for two minutes about doing regular exercise, and that could be interesting. But if you actually talked for two minutes about doing fitness yoga and meditation yoga, and how that um, more specifically helps you to uh, live a better life, I think that could be a lot more interesting because probably on that day, a lot of students will talk about doing regular exercise. So talking about doing a specific kind of exercise like yoga, which is really good uh, for the muscles, the joints, the body, the mind, um, a lot of interesting words 
come uh, into context and you will be able to perform better than if you just talk about exercise in general. Does everybody get what I mean by this? So when you choose your answer, think about, okay, is my answer maybe a little bit too general? Is there a way that I can make it a little, little bit more unique so it's a little bit more interesting for the examiner and it allows me to give a little bit more unique information. So I'm not just one of the hundred students today that sit this uh, IELTS exam. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So I can see a lot of you are saying, yeah, that, that makes sense. So being more specific, not just talking about doing regular exercise. So um, let me then give you a couple more here that you said, because you said a few for me. Let me move these down. And we're going to practice converting these before we choose one, we're going to convert some of these into some more specific ideas, okay? So, uh, some of you said going to university, okay? Um, what could you do to make that a little bit more specific? So, what could you talk about as an idea to improve your life that's not just generally saying going to university, but something that's a little bit more specific, something that's maybe a little bit more interesting. Okay. So Bekchan says maybe saying the university's name and location or your major. Yeah. So give it to me. Okay. So, all right getting a scholarship, better economic life. But what do we mean here by going to university? So I would say something like, okay. Something specific, as a couple of you hinted, maybe naming the type of diploma. So earning a master's degree in business administration, okay? So if you start your two-minute response by an idea that I had after high school uh, was to earn at least a master's degree in business administration, you're going to be on a better track than if you say uh, going to university. Do you see that? So just imagine for a second that I start my response by saying uh, a great idea that I had to improve my life after I graduated high school uh, was to go to university. Okay. Uh, versus I'm going to keep it relatively the same. So a great idea that I had to improve my life uh, after I graduated high school was to earn a master's degree in business administration over the course of the next five years. Um, which one do you think start is a better start to this, uh, to this response? So you see where I'm going with this? Okay. So if I start by saying to the examiner, a great idea that I had to improve my life after I graduated high school was to go to university versus a great, that I, great idea that I had to improve my life after I graduated high school was to earn a master's degree in business administration uh, over the course of the next five years. Uh, that one definitely will put you on track to a better uh, response. Yeah, absolutely. You can feel that, right? Everybody can feel it and see, yeah, that's way more specific. That's going to be way more interesting. Okay. So, uh, let's try a couple more here. Okay. So, um, going abroad to study. Okay. Change that into something a little bit more unique and interesting. 
for me. Okay, so going abroad to study. So just like we did this, going to university, earning a master's degree in business administration, going abroad to study, change that into a more specific idea that's still easy to talk about and that's going to uh, put you on a better track for a high band score. So uh, Nitu says, going to Canada to major in toxicology. Perfect. Yeah. So starting with that is going to be better. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tanuri, that's just a paraphrase. You're still saying the same. So you want to give more details. Okay. More details. Okay. All right. Uh, going to Stanford University and studying in the U.S. Yeah. Rafa, much better. So a great idea that I had was to study business in the US, okay? Yeah, that's much better. So again, more specific, all right? So be more specific. Um, buying a car, okay? Let's uh, try that one. Okay, so how can we make buying a car uh, into a life improvement idea that's more than just buying a car? Okay, try that one. Okay, so think about a way that you can change the simple concept of buying a car into an even better idea that will help you to give a better response. Okay, I like the game on. So uh, buying, sure, that's a that would be a great one. So buying a uh, Tesla for everyday commute. Okay, there we go. See, some brilliant ideas out there. You just have to be uh, visual. Carolina said the same, buying a red Tesla. Yeah, so not just any car, but you're buying a an electric luxury car, okay? So uh, notice how if you say buying a car, all right, um, you could probably say a few good ideas, but when you think of buying a Tesla for everyday commute and driving, now I think that you will be able to think of a lot more great ideas, okay? Okay, so for example, when you buy a Tesla, you're buying a luxury car, it's a status symbol, it's environmentally friendly, um, it's trendy. So there's a lot of other ideas that come into mind uh, when you think more specific of buying a Tesla, okay? Does that make sense? So uh, thinking of a more specific idea doesn't uh, necessarily make your conversation more difficult. In fact, it will often make it easier because you will get more ideas. Sometimes it's actually very difficult to focus and have good speaking when your ideas are really general. Do you get that? Does everybody um, feel what I'm saying there? So uh, remember that often Ironically, uh, when candidates think of a very general concepts, they get stuck uh, for ideas and they tend to repeat themselves. When they have more unique ideas, like buying a Tesla, this in fact helps to be more fluent. Okay, does that make sense? So that's why it's good to think of a specific idea. Okay, so uh, we have some good ideas here now. 
Um, let's uh, choose one of these. So we're going to uh, stick to these four for now, okay? So uh, doing fitness, meditation, yoga, earning a master's degree in business administration, going to Canada to major in toxicology, okay? <laughs> or um, buying a Tesla for everyday uh, driving. Uh, which one uh, would you like? Uh, just vote. All you have to do is write the number into the chat and I'll take the most popular vote for the day and then we'll do that one, okay? So we have some fours coming up, some twos coming up. Oh, it looks like everybody wants a Tesla. I know I want a Tesla. All right, okay. Uh, two looks good as well. So earning a master's degree in business administration, sure. All right, four and two are very, very, very popular. Okay, let's go with number four. Let's do buying a Tesla. Uh, for those of you who really want to do number two, hey, try that on your own after the class. So uh, don't be shy after the class. Go, okay, I got the right idea now. Um, I'll do uh, that uh, for homework. So, but for class, let's do number four. Okay, so uh, number four. Now it's an idea, don't get lost in the ob uh, that it's an object, remember. Uh, step number four is usable notes. So it's still an idea, okay? All right, um, so Mbekjan had a really good question. He said, what's the order? Okay, so the order is uh, source and time of the idea, okay? Source and time, uh, reason, requirements, outcomes. And if you have time, then uh, even, or if it's possible, then uh, revisions, okay? So that's the order, all right? So give me some useful notes, all right? Some useful notes. So keep in mind the questions on the card, okay? The questions on the card says, what is the idea? When and where did the idea come from? What do or did you need to make this idea a reality? Why will this idea make your life better? And how long will it take? And you have one to two minutes to talk about it. All right, so uh, source of the idea. Where did this idea come from? When did you get this idea? Give me some useful notes. So some notes that are not in your head otherwise. Okay. So when did you get this idea? Okay, I would write down maybe something like, okay, neighbor, maybe you saw your neighbor have one, okay? Or Negeman says, a year ago, my brother recommended it. Sure, okay. Uh, TV ads, sure. It's the hot topic of the day. YouTube video. Yeah, Paras says, watching the launch of the Tesla 3 model, okay? Sure, okay, good. And when was it? Last summer, July. Okay, good. All right, what's the reason? Let's go to the next one. So you're moving along quickly here. Uh, reason, okay, don't get stuck on one point for too long, okay? Romain, good to see you in the class, okay? So four years ago when you saw a Tesla car exhibited in the shopping mall, in the center of the shopping mall, sure. Okay, let's go to the next one. So uh, reason, why, what is the reason for this idea? Why, why do you have this idea to improve your life? Okay. Okay, comfort. Think, think, think quickly. OK, 
Okay, drive assistance, sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bad driver. Okay, eco-friendly. I just got a new job and they have a charging station, free fuel. Woohoo! Okay, save money, very good. All right, so we've got lots there. Okay, save money, save the environment, eco friendly. Okay, uh, what do you need? So, what do you need for it? Okay, what do you need for it? Save money, sure. What else do you need for it? <clears throat> I think some of you might know this if you've looked into getting a Tesla. Okay, don't just say money. So say something like 120,000 US dollars, right? Let's say, okay, but you need something else. Loan, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, um, and you need a driver's license, insurance, very good. And you might need a reservation. Teslas are so popular that you actually have to reserve them in advance. You can't just buy one like that. You often have to make a reservation for them and then they will manufacture it and deliver it to you. And there's usually a waiting list. I don't know if anybody heard about that, but oftentimes for Teslas, depending on where you are, you have to get on a waiting list to get one. They're in hot demand. All right. So, <clears throat> How will it make your life better? Okay. Um, save time. Prestige in society. Sure. All of those. Okay, good. We're doing great so far. Okay. You need some electric fueling stations, Romaine. That's right. Okay. It's a lifestyle. Sure. That's good. All right. Let's get to the next step. We're running out of time. We don't have much time left in the one minute. Uh, we still have lots of time in the class. Don't worry, but we don't have too much time in the one minute. So uh, your next step, step five, is to have your first sentence ready. Step five, get your first sentence ready. Be very direct, okay? Uh, use the topic statement of the cue card. Super important. So when you think about your first sentence before the examiner says, okay, your one minute preparation time is up, uh, you really have to uh, look at this and talk about an idea you had to make your life better. So use this part of the card to answer the question. Okay. So for Dobbs says at the moment, I remember an idea which transformed my life completely. It was buying a Tesla to improve my social status. Okay, very good. All right. That's a good first sentence for Dobbs. So give me some more first sentences. All right. Good luck, Milo. Uh, Beckjohn says, the idea that I had to improve my life is to purchase a Tesla 3 last year in July when this car was released. Sure, Beckjohn, that's great. Uh, Nitu says the best idea that changed my life for the better was buying a Tesla. Very nice. Great first sentence. Okay. Tanurit says generally the idea that hit my mind to alter my quality of living for the better was purchasing a Tesla. Very good. 
Marasa says, an interesting idea that I appreciate and helped up my status is buying a Tesla. Nice sentences, students. Good work. All of those are looking really nice. So uh, one of the best ideas that I had of late was to purchase uh, a Tesla 3 to enhance my quality of life. All right, so there's my first sentence there. Uh, one of the best ideas that I had uh, of late was to purchase a Tesla 3 to enhance my quality of life. Okay, good. Now we just get right into answering the questions. So um, the examiner says, okay, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. And so you start speaking. And students, this is a speaking class, and I love all the chatter that's going on in the thread. But make sure to speak as well. Okay? So repeat after me. One of the best ideas that I had as of late was to purchase a Tesla 3 to enhance my quality of life. Okay, give me the next sentence based on our notes based on the cue cards, okay? So all you're doing here is think of your notes, your cue card, and the elements to answer questions about ideas, okay? And the next sentence, so da, da, da. what's the next sentence? Okay, I'm not going to give you as many hints as usual because I think you're doing a great job and I think you can really nail this without me giving you exactly what you should say. All right, so Nigheim An says, A year ago, my brother consulted me to get a brand new Tesla 3. Nigheim, the only issue with that approach is then it's more your brother's idea than your idea. So this has to be kind of your idea, okay? So keep that in mind, An, an idea that you had to make your life better, not a suggestion that you got to make your life better. So Lydia says, it came to my mind while I was watching TV advertisements um, when I was 18 in the summer to optimize my life for the better. Okay, Lydia, that's on the right track. So this notion started uh, brewing in my mind a couple of years back. when I saw a luxury Tesla ad on TV. Sure, yeah, okay, that's kind of good. Uh, it started brewing, that's a nice uh, idiomatic expression. The special one says, I decided to buy the Tesla when I was waiting for the oil at the oil station two months ago and realized that an electric car would definitely be the way to go as I was waiting for more than three hours. So I started to understand uh, why these cars are becoming so popular, okay? So at last, say at last, this idea crystallized crystallized uh, a year ago in July when I spent about a hundred bucks fueling up at the petrol station after waiting 30 minutes in line to get to the pump. Afterwards, I 
arrived at my destination, the downtown mall, and there was a beautiful uh, Tesla 3 on exhibit. All right. And after this class, we're all going to run and buy Teslas. It's going to be so convincing of this great idea. Okay. Um, also, students, I'm showing you some nice language here. And uh, I'm using what you're telling me to visualize and to put it all together. Okay. Some really clever thinking there, students. So nicely done. Thank you for all those uh, great ideas. Okay. So uh, here we go. This notion started brewing in my mind a couple of years back when I saw a luxury Tesla ad on TV. Alas, this idea crystallized a year ago in July when I uh, spent about 100 bucks fueling up at the petrol station after waiting 30 minutes in line to get to the pump. Afterwards, I arrived at my destination, the downtown mall, and there was a beautiful Tesla 3 um, on exhibit. I then decided that I would get one of these cars as soon as possible. There we go. Yeah, so we're moving along nicely. Okay, now we have the source of the idea. Um, now, we still need a little bit more about the reason. So we can start to infer the reason that we're fed up with gas-powered cars, um, but we still want to tell the examiner very clearly the reason. So give me the reason, students. What is the reason that you want this Tesla? Okay. Shaikh says, I'm happy today that we're talking about Tesla. I'm sure some of you are probably happy if you have stocks in Tesla as well. Okay, all right. So um, why are you getting this car? Why will this make your life better? So reason, why will this make your life better? Keep focusing on the controlling idea of the question. Never lose that. Okay, so don't just start talking about the Tesla and how great the Tesla is. But remember, the question is an idea that you had to make your life better. Okay, all right. Tanner Reed says the key features of this automobile fascinated me. This would help me preserve the environment and save money. Amon Jot says the Tesla gives me a luxurious life and not only improves uh, my social status, but also provides me with a lot of convenience. Yeah, so the this beautiful electric car would not only enhance my social status as it is luxurious, and trendy, but it would also help me save time while doing my part in preserving the environment and leaving less of a carbon footprint than driving a gas-powered combustion engine. Okay, nice, sure. So I'm again putting together a lot of the ideas that you're giving me and just making it into some nice, seamless, fluent, natural English language, okay? So Nikhil, very much the same, says it makes my life better by improving my social status as well as saving my money and time. Okay, uh, good. Now, um, so you're moving along, you're being really fluent. What should you do at this point?
So you're doing a good job. The examiner is thinking, wow, this student's really nailing it. They're not just talking about buying a new car, but they're buying a new Tesla to improve their life. Um, what should you do next? Parmar says, just feeling like driving a Tesla car right at the moment as if it's right next to me. Parmar, it's great. All right. Um, Murasa says, read the card. So look at the card. Yeah. It still amazes me, I say this all the time, and it still amazes me that there are so many candidates when they're taking the IELTS exam, they look at the card only one time in their preparation and they look at their notes only one time when they're writing them down and then it's as if the notes and the card magically disappear, poof, and they're gone. And then they're speaking to the examiner and they get stuck and they get really nervous and then they start repeating themselves and so the tesla would help me to like save like 50 bucks on gas each month and they're stuck and the examiner's like look at the card look at your notes um they didn't go poof and magically disappear okay so look at the card look at your notes that's why they're there those will help you the examiner knows you're looking at those to get some ideas so here we go okay so let's look at the card first okay look at the card first uh what do or did you need to make this idea reality we haven't talked about that why will this make your life better how long will this take we can definitely say more about that as well okay um so now look at your notes Okay, so your notes say, all right, I need about 120,000 US, maybe getting a loan or some credit. I definitely need my driver's license insurance and maybe I even need to make a reservation for this Tesla because you have to pre-purchase them, okay? Um, and then uh, how will this make your life better? Uh, well, you can get to your new job, which has a charging station, and also it even has driver's assistance because I'm kind of a bad driver, and uh, there are very tight parking spots around my house and at my work. So we can add that information, okay? So let's talk about that. So what we need to make this happen. Give me some information here. So what do we need to make this Tesla happen for us? How can we, how can we get this Tesla going? Uh, Mohammed, yeah, you can drink some water for sure, especially if people are really nervous and they get what's called cotton mouth. Okay, I'm drinking water. You can have water with you in the exam, it's okay. Yeah, you can have a water bottle with you. So Beckjohn says, in order to purchase this car, firstly, I need to get a loan from the bank, around 120 grand US. So in order to get this car ASAP, we say that, by the way, now in English, ASAP. Uh, so to get this car ASAP, I need to apply for a loan from the bank for about 120K US, get approved. Of course, I need to have a valid uh, driver's license. Which I have, fortunately. And Interestingly, I may also need to uh, make a reservation or pre-purchase as uh, Tesla 3s are so popular that it's difficult to buy one directly from a car lot. Okay, cool, right on. All right, 
Um, ASAP means as soon as possible. Yeah, it's such a popular expression that we've turned the uh, acronym into a word, ASAP. <laughs> okay, uh, certainly. I will have some insurance on the car as well. Okay. And so you've basically answered all of the questions in about that 90 seconds that I was talking about. And now is when you can elaborate. Okay. So I think this is how I would elaborate. So let's say I said all this in 90 seconds and the examiner is looking at me like, okay, you still got about 30 seconds to go. You can elaborate. So this is where I would start elaborating, especially on how it would make my life better. Okay. So when you elaborate in the remaining 30 seconds, Think of the main topic and controlling idea. In this case, it's idea to make my life better. Okay. Uh, definitely, once I have my Tesla, I will save at least... half an hour each month not having to worry about fueling up. Also, I will keep about 200 bucks that I would have otherwise spent on fuel and fortunately there is a free electric charging station at my uh, work. In addition, if my dream becomes a reality, my boss will see that I'm a very considerate person and have high aims and give me and gives me a promotion so I can pay for my Tesla. <laughs> Kind of a funny way to finish it, but hey, why not? So that's my elaboration, okay? Um, all right, students, here we go. Uh, let's just go through this from the top. So what I want you to do is just speak and uh, repeat after me, okay? Lots of information here. Uh, again, of course, you have to be fluent to get this out in uh, the uh, two minutes. Uh, here we go. One of the best ideas that I had as of late was to purchase a Tesla 3 to enhance my quality of life. This notion started brewing in my mind a couple of years back when I saw a luxury Tesla ad on TV. Alas, this idea crystallized about a year ago in July when I spent around 100 bucks fueling up at the petrol station after waiting 30 minutes in line to get to the pump. Afterwards, I arrived at my destination, the downtown mall, and there was a beautiful Tesla 3 on exhibit. I then decided that I would get one of these cars as soon as possible. This beautiful electric car would not only enhance my social status, as it is luxurious and trendy, but it would also help me save time while doing my part in preserving the environment and leaving less of a carbon footprint than driving a gas-powered combustion engine. In order to get this car ASAP, I need to apply for a loan from the bank for about 120 grand US and get approved for that. Of course, I need to have a valid driver's license, which I have, fortunately. And um, interestingly, I may also need to make a reservation or a pre-purchase as Tesla 3s are popular, so it's difficult to get one on the same day from a car lot. Certainly, 
I will have some insurance on the car as well. Um, and uh, definitely once I have my Tesla, I will save at least half an hour each month, not having to worry about fueling up. Also, I will keep about uh, 200 bucks in my pocket that I would have otherwise spent on fuel. And fortunately, there's a free, free electric charging station at my work. In addition, uh, if my dream comes to reality, my boss will see that I'm very considerate person for the environment and I have good social status and high aims and will give me a promotion so I can pay for my expensive car. Okay. All right. Um, Botir, yes, it's complex, but it's not impossible with practice. And of course, Botir, I'm showing you a band nine example. If you simplify this a little bit, it's totally fine. Uh, you can still get a nice high band score. The key here, students, is thinking of not just any answer for your part two, uh, but choosing a wise answer, okay? So, uh, Head Patella, Tesla is an electric car. Uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I will be back with part three which will be a continuation for this cue card because in the IELTS exam, the examiner says, okay, that's the end of your two minutes. Now I will ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Carolina, I'm super glad that uh, you enjoyed that. <laughs> but she says the last line is awesome. <laughs> all right, you're all very, very welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, great topic today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, hopefully I will see all of you tomorrow. Members, uh, Q&A session tomorrow, questions and answers. So if you have them, get them ready for tomorrow's class. And then, of course, for everyone speaking part three. Bye for now. I'm Adrian signing out from Budapest. Much love to all of you.